I'm in Hardangerfjord, which is near Bergen in the west coast of Norway. It's about 100 miles long and it traps an awful lot of plastic, not only along the shore here, some of it from as far away as the UK, but an awful lot of fishing litter, pots, nets and so on, which are lost uh, and then they rest on the bottom of the fjord. They're just bringing up some of those pots now. They've been reported by a fishing uh, boat uh, and they're bringing them in. You can see that they are still catching an awful lot of fish. These are eels, these are a protected species. Now, if they'd left these pots on the bottom of the fjord, all these would have died. No hope ever of escaping from these pots. But by being able to locate them with remote operated vehicles, submersibles, uh, and then bringing them up on big boats like this, they can not only do the scientific analysis so they understand the problem, but they can then be released back into the water so they live another day. But there is also the problem of plastic pollution. This is all going to degrade over time into small fibres which then get out into the environment. And they have here in Norway now the first research done by a research organisation called Norse which shows that plastic cleanups really work. That by removing uh, bags, bottles, pots, the kind of plastic that we see washed up on our shores, you reduce the microplastic, those tiny grains of plastic, uh, by 99% within a year. So it's dramatic scientific evidence that cleanups really work. And for people working in sometimes really horrible weather, that's a huge motivator to keep going, that this is really making a big difference. Fantastic.